The purpose of this video is to take a look at what's in the box of your STAR SP700 series kitchen printer and discuss configuration. Begin by opening the box and unpacking all of the components. Inside you will see power cables, an ink ribbon, paper, and the STAR printer. The required Ethernet cable does not come in the box. You will need to purchase the necessary cable length for your location's required setup. Start by opening the back of the printer using the lift lever. Now open the front of the printer using the two lift notches on the outside of the printer's frame. Twist the ink ribbon knob to ensure the ribbon is tightly wound. Place the ribbon in front of the metal knob with the ribbon now facing upward on the right hand side. After the ink ribbon snaps into place, close the front of the printer. Now, load the paper distributing from the bottom into the back paper drop of the printer. Once the paper is ready, close the back of the printer. Next, plug in the required Ethernet cable in the back of the printer. Then, take the other end of that cable and plug it in the back of the groove provided router. Now, insert the power cord into the back of the kitchen printer and plug the other end into the nearest power outlet. Once this cable is secure, power on the printer. Now you'll need to check the IP parameters of the printer by pressing and holding the feed button. While holding the feed button, power on the printer by flipping the power switch. Once you hear the printer start up, release the feed button. This will result in the printer printing out a series of receipts. The printer will stop after the first receipt and print out IP parameters on the second. Open the web browser on your tablet and enter the IP address found on the second receipt. This will take you to the kitchen printer's online configuration page. From the menu on the left, click on the word Login and enter the login information which can be found by clicking the link in the description of this video. Once logged in, select IP parameters from the menu on the left. Then select the static option and enter the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Once this information has been entered, select the submit button. Now click save from the menu on the left. Now select the Execute button to print these parameters and restart the kitchen printer. A message will appear confirming that these changes have been completed. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more videos.